Introducing the Watercolor Brush Stroke Creator Kit and how to use it. In this set, you're going to get 100 Photoshop stamp brushes and one dynamic brush along with 25 watercolor styles, 8 metallic rose gold and gold styles, and then you're also going to get a couple of watercolor backgrounds so you can make cool effects like so. These are the watercolors that are in here. They're all made from handmade uh, watercolor high quality products. So let's go, get ahead, go ahead and get into it and let's go ahead and take a look at the Photoshop styles. So these are one click Photoshop styles and I'm just gonna show you here. You're gonna start by typing out a text and then you're going to add a style to it by clicking here. You can open styles by going to Windows, Styles. Okay, so to change the effect on top of your text, you're going to select it to affect it. And you're just going to click through here. All we're doing is clicking, it's that simple. And you can see the different uh, watercolor effects that we've created here. And these are pretty neat. So we're just clicking here, got a lot of pinks here, some blues, some metallics. Now one thing I wanted to show you, if this isn't crisp enough for you, you can always go in and change the settings. Um, so this one is set on 50, you can set it on 100, um, you know, whatever your hearts desire. So I can go back in here, go to the pattern overlay, set this to 100 and it looks a little bit more crisp. You can do the same thing for all of them. Uh, depending on your text is, you can set it to 25, 100, or 50, whatever floats your boat. And these are, that's just the watercolor paper. So I'm gonna go back here. All right, so to open the Photoshop uh, styles, it's very simple, we're just gonna double click on it. So once you have extracted your files using WinZip, you're going to see a folder like this and your Photoshop styles will be in here. The metallic styles, you'll just double click to open them. One, two. I'm not gonna do it because I already have them open. And um, you'll just double click to open them here. And there's some bonus styles in there that I've included. And then you also have the watercolor uh, Photoshop action. You're gonna double cl click on this to open it. And I'm gonna show you something really cool. So I've created a new document. It's 1500 by 1000. And to easily add the style to this document, you're just gonna click on the watercolor background. Then we're gonna create a new layer, okay? And we're going to select a brush and we're going to randomly select one of these watercolor brushes here, um, the watercolor stamp brushes. Um, you can just stamp it there. And that's a really pretty color. It looks really pretty like that. However, um, if you wanna add the style to it, you can add a style to it. Um, to uh, adjust the settings here, like I said, you can go to 25, you can go to 50, um, however you like, and you can drag it around to your heart's content. So I kind of think I like it on 25, so I'm gonna leave it on 25. And then I'm just gonna drag it right here. And if you wanna make this a little bit um, less transparent, you can duplicate the layer and like so. So I'm gonna rasterize this layer and I'm gonna rasterize the other later layer and I'm gonna merge it. Merge, merge down. Okay. And then I'm gonna show you another cool effect with the actions. So if you go to Windows, Actions, you can actually make anything watercolorly like. So just go ahead, well, an easier way you could do it, you should go to button mode and then just click this and it will make it like watercolory. Now, because I duplicated uh, the two layers together, this is gonna make it more dark. So if you're not wanting this effect, um, we can start over from the beginning and I can show you how it, how that works. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these layers and I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna get a brush. We'll use a different one this time. Um, 
let's use this one. And I'm gonna choose a pinker color. That looks good. And there you have it. And then now we're gonna run the action. So I'm gonna go to Windows, Actions, and then I'm just gonna click this. And then it's gonna make it more watercolory, darker. And then you can also add a layer style on it as well to give it a really cool effect. So you go to Pattern Overlay and you can change this to 25. And you can also move it around. Um, these are seamless, so you can move these around. There's no lines in here, so you can get different effects. Um, so those are a couple ways that you can do it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and delete this layer and delete this layer. And I am going to use the dynamic brush, um, which is really cool. I created this, it's called Water, Watercolor Dynamics. And I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm going to just paint just a random, just a random whatever, okay? And then you can take the gold style and apply over it um, here. Now, because this um, watercolor um, brush has a unique um, transparency to it, um, what we can do is we can pick a darker brush. Here we go and it can paint like that. See how cool that looks. You can duplicate this brush, um, merge down, and then add the gold style. And that will work out a little bit better for you because like I said, it has the transparency on it for um, you know, whatever purpose that may be for like watercolor. So I'm gonna duplicate this and you can see the other gold styles here and depending on what you're using it for um, you can use 25 50 or 100 adjust the size whoops here and I'm gonna change this one to whoops I selected the wrong thing so you can look at all the metallic styles pattern overlay change it to 25 or 50 and once you have that selected you can paint in rose gold which looks really cool so that's pretty neat there's all kinds of things that you can do probably think of with designs such as those but um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this layer I'm gonna create a new layer and so you can see how beautifully this paints. You can make tape. Um, you can make uh, masks for your your pictures. You can see how it has a watercolor effect. So if you go over it, it has like a kind of like an overlay effect. And it has the really rough edges for like masking. You can use it for tape or whatever. So that's pretty neat. I um, hope you guys like this. And uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching.